Welcome to the Pediatric Asthma Clinic at San Francisco General Hospital. Thank you for coming. The goal of our clinic is to work with the families of children with asthma, to help them learn more about the causes of their asthma attacks, and to keep their asthma under control. We want all of our patients to be able to lead normal, healthy lives. We'd like to start your visit by showing you around the clinic and explaining the services we offer. Hi Chris, I'm Dr. Charles Williams. How are you? I'm fine today. The first visit usually takes about two hours, but don't worry, the next clinic visit should be much shorter. Most of our patients are referred by their regular doctor or nurse practitioner or by the Pediatric Urgent Care Unit. Some patients need an authorization from their insurance company before they can be seen in our clinic. If the family needs assistance with insurance authorizations, they can ask to speak with someone from our eligibility staff for help with arranging the authorization. Once our patients are registered for the asthma clinic, they are greeted by one of our health workers. Our health workers are available to provide support to our patients with asthma every weekday, even when the clinic is closed. Before the patient comes to the asthma clinic, the health worker will call the families to remind them of their appointment. They also help during asthma clinic visits, assist with education in the home, and they are available over the phone to help with issues such as housing, pharmacy problems, and making follow-up appointments. The health workers will give families their private phone number before they leave the asthma clinic. Families are encouraged to call them if they have any questions or concerns. At the beginning of each asthma clinic visit, the health workers measure, weigh, and check the blood pressure of all patients. If the patient is four years of age or older, they are usually old enough to perform a pulmonary function test. We perform this lung test to evaluate the health of the lungs and to know how well the child can breathe. The patient blows into a machine several times and a computer records the readings and gives us the results. Big breath. The results are more meaningful if the patient has not taken albuterol or another rescue medication, such as Zopinex, in the past six hours. This is why we ask patients to try to avoid taking these medications on the day of the asthma clinic visit whenever possible. Let's follow one of our patients, Chris, through his first visit to the clinic and see what happens next. Once in an examination room, several things will happen. First, one of the clinic nurses will come into the room and with the family's permission, will perform allergy skin testing. This is a simple, quick test that is done on either the forearm or the back. It's a plastic device that places a small amount of liquid onto the arm in little circles. Chris's arm is big enough so that he can have his test done on his arm. If he was smaller, we would do it on his back. In only 15 minutes, we will be able to read the results of the allergy skin test. While waiting for the results of the allergy skin test, a medical provider will listen to Chris's chest to see how well he is breathing. Then, Chris will receive a medication called a bronchodilator either albuterol or Zolpanex. If Chris's family has brought his medication and spacer to the appointment, we can use them for the test. Otherwise, we give him the same medication with a device called a nebulizer, which takes a little longer. We give the treatment even if the patient is breathing well, because we want to see how the bronchodilator medication will affect the results of the second lung test that will be performed in about 20 minutes. In the meantime, the medical provider will need to ask Chris's family many questions about his past medical history, home environment, possible triggers of his asthma, and the medication he has taken. It's important that the family answers the questions as carefully as possible. It will be easier to design a plan for the child's care if we have accurate information. After the medical provider obtains a medical history, a complete physical examination will be done. 
Once we have the results of the lung and skin test, along with the information from the history and examination, the whole team will discuss the case and decide on the best plan of treatment. It is important that we have all of this information together at the same time so that we have a good understanding of the child's unique case. While the team is discussing all the information on the case, the family will either watch an educational video about asthma or will talk with one of the health workers. If Chris is found to be allergic to dust, he will need special bed covers that are allergy proof, which we provide for free. He will also need a special form signed by an asthma specialist so he can use his rescue medication at his school or after school program. In addition, he will receive his own personalized box in which to store his medications and spacer. The medical team has decided on a plan for Chris and now it's time to discuss this plan with Chris and his family. If the plan is agreeable to everyone, a prescription for the medications and an asthma action plan describing the use of the medications will be given to Chris's family. After the medical team talks to the family, it is a good time for the health workers to ask whether the family has any questions and help make follow-up appointments with the clinic and the patient's regular medical provider. The health workers will also review the use of the inhaler and spacer and will review the asthma action plan. Yes, okay, porque si hace esto, no sirve. The first visit can seem long. We try to do many things so that the family doesn't need to return to the clinic more often than necessary. We also want to be sure that the family has all of the information they need to help their child's asthma. Our services do not end when the patient leaves the clinic. Within a few days, Chris's family will receive a phone call from one of the health workers to see how Chris is feeling and to be sure that the family was able to receive the prescribed medication. They will also check to make sure that the family understands the asthma action plan. Most importantly, the telephone call gives the family an opportunity to ask questions. This is why it is very important that the health worker knows the best phone number and the best time of day to reach the family. The health workers are also able to make home visits to look for things that may be triggering the child's asthma and to offer more information. This is particularly helpful for the families of children who have allergies or asthma that are difficult to get under control. In addition, after each clinic visit, the patient's regular doctor or nurse practitioner will receive a report about the clinic visit. The report will include the results of all the tests and the recommended treatment. After the child's last appointment with us, this report will be a personal letter which also recommends how often the child should be seen by the primary care provider for follow-up asthma care in the future. We believe all of our patients can live normal, active lives. Children with asthma shouldn't need to miss school. Their parents should not have to miss work or their school. They should be able to sleep all night without coughing or being short of breath. Together with the families, the Asthma Clinic team works to make these things possible. Thank you for visiting our clinic today. We hope you will enjoy your time with us. It's been our pleasure to show you around.